Data Flux Sojourning Through Voyager Season 1. Uh, trying to make it to when it actually gets good. We actually get to one episode uh, where the story actually moves forward. This is the episode where Seska, uh, spoilers, turns out to be a traitor and a Cardassian. And it leads to that one great line by Chakoti, the uh, Tuvok was working for you, Seska was working for the uh, Cardassians. Was anybody on that chi ship actually working for me? That was like the cool part. And uh, it had like a weird transporter accident that the uh, Kazan Nistrum were doing. And it had like a... Okay, my mood immediately darkens when I say Kazon because they were such a terrible uh, villain. Huh? If this involved anything else but the Kazon, if it was just the story between uh, Chakoti and Seska, that would have been an amazing episode, but unfortunately. It had to be with the Kazon, which was, you know, uh, I don't think Brennan Braga would disagree with me that is, it was uh, one of his all-time worst ideas. And I'm pretty certain it was uh, Brennan Braga's idea. Uh, I think I read about it on Memory Alpha that uh, he came up with them and the idea behind them and they were just terrible they just there's a reason why i only watched voyager a few years ago and not when it originally came out and that was because the first two seasons of voyager were f so fucking terrible because of the kazon which was one of the uh, most stupid species ever imagined for Star Trek because they were like they had no business uh, uh, traveling space like they you know there's the thing called suspension of disbelief and the Kazon I don't believe that those people are capable of flying starships like, it's as simple as that. Uh, every time a Kazon character is on screen, every time a Kazon character has a line, I do not believe that these are people capable of flying starships. And I know that later on, uh, you know, they were established to have uh, stolen their starships from a more advanced species. I still don't buy it. Even if they stole their ships from the trade, as we learn later on. Another spoiler, sorry. Uh, I still do not ever believe that they are capable of flying them. Or navigating them. Or not crashing them into a planet. Or firing the phases, or raising the shields, or uh, anything. They display no ability whatsoever to operate any kind of spacecraft. So they completely ruin every kind of suspension of disbelief every time they are on screen. They do not in any way appear capable of operating any kind of spacecraft even if they stole it they don't appear capable of flying stolen spacecraft or uh, navigating them or firing weapons or uh, knowing how the doors open or knowing how to find their quarters or knowing how to turn the lights on. There's just no zero suspension of disbelief on the Kazon. 
I can only say that again and again in my first two seasons of uh, Voyager reviews. The Kazon defy suspension of disbelief because I don't believe they can fly spaceships. And that ruins this episode which is supposed to be a big story episode because it's the episode where uh, Seska turns out to be a traitor and a Cardassian, which would have been a big thing if it wasn't for the stupidity of having the Kazon in there. So in the end, I'll just make this quick. Uh, this could have been a good episode. It could have had a good story with, you know, Seska, played by Martha Hackett, which is an amazing actress, who plays the character very well, and Chakoti, played by Robert Beltran, who plays his character really well, and the interaction between the two characters. But having the Kazon in there ruins everything, because it destroys the suspension of disbelief, and an episode that could have been good and important is ruined. And in the end it's just you know, left as a mediocre episode. Because you have good character moments by two great actors. But you have a, a villain which ruins everything by destroying your suspension of disbelief. So, uh, this could have been good, but it isn't, because the Kazon are in it. And everything in early Voyager that the Kazon are in is just terrible, because these are people who can obviously not fly in space, not participate uh, uh, in space uh, uh, interactions, because they're stupid. They are fucking stupid. So. How would I immerse myself in this? If all suspension of disbelief is ruined by the stupidity of this species. And you know. I can imagine uh, Brandon Braga regrets this. And he should. Because, wow, the Kazon just suck. And I'm looking forward to uh, finishing season two. I'm still in season one. But I'm looking forward to finishing season two when the Kazon are no more a part of this show. Because, God, they are such a god awful bad idea. <laughs>